I'm a little biased, but this rough looking thing here is probably one of my favorite sounding cars. So it is that time. I'm getting ready to do the manifold swap. So take all this out, lift up the strut bar, um, disconnect the battery, disconnect the fuel hoses, and then um, I should be able to get to the bolts that hold the manifold to the cylinder head. The time consuming part is probably going to be uh, lengthening these cables, which I mean, it shouldn't be too bad. The airflow meter cable, throttle position cable, and I think those are the main two. I'm going to have a hose running from the ICV to the intake, which will be on this side. And then this breather hose, I'm just going to have a filter on it. I have to lengthen the throttle cable because I couldn't find a longer throttle cable in stock. I'll probably have to order one. I'll probably do that later on. Unbolt these so I can move this uh, reservoir out of the way we have my intake manifold well one of them obviously not the one that's in the car because i'm driving the car right now i have like about three or four of these the plan is to uh, bore a hole here and then obviously block off this side of where the intake would be getting its air from and then mount the throttle body here on this side kind of like um Pretty much what Alpina did back in the day on their, um, I think they did them on their M30 swapped E30s, I believe. So I have a little bit of free time right now at the shop. So I'm going to get an idea of where, I mean, I'm pretty much just going to center it and drill it out. I mean, it's, it's really not much more to it. But yeah, I will check back in in a moment. Okay, so... I think this is about where I'm gonna have it. Literally right in the middle. I know they have these raised portions on the manifold, so I'm gonna grind all that flat so the throttle body can sit flat. And I believe I should be able to drill a small hole through here so that I can feed the uh, throttle cable through there. just like that so now the goal is going to be to grind down these raised portions to get it all flat so that way the throttle body can mount flat figure out how I'm gonna run the airflow meter wiring and uh, ICV hose and all that good stuff that worked out pretty good well, Riley's came through they had the size I needed, 1.0 thread pitch. So that was like, I think $7. I was gonna rent the whole thing, but that was like $100. So I only needed this one. like that sometimes. set here works pretty good just did a little test run here and everything works everything spins the way it should be so we're good to go now I just got to center the uh, throttle body 
Just gonna center it and then I'll get started. Well, about that time. Not bad. I'm gonna blow off some more of this sand, but uh, definitely clean. Definitely cleaned a lot. Okay, so here's our little piece of aluminum that I cut out. Just need to drill a hole in each corner. I'll take my measurements and do that. And then I can worry about um, intake plumbing and uh, hoses and cables that need to be extended. But it's not that difficult of a project. I just happen to have the time, so I'm gonna put the time in and get it done. There we have it, it's all done. I put the original studs back in just to test fit it, obviously. Um, it fits, but it's still a little bit tight. And um, I may enlarge this hole just a little bit so it's not super tight when I put it on. Not like it's, you know, it's not like I'm really gonna plan on taking it back off afterwards. So I guess it really doesn't matter. But um, yeah, that's one part done. I'm gonna be using the factory BMW gasket that goes here anyway and just literally sandwich it in between and tighten this down and that'll be it for this side. Never seen an M30 like this. So I didn't get to record me actually putting the manifold in and stuff. I mean, I didn't think that was really important. What was important was blocking off one side, having the throttle body here now. Throttle cable routed just like Alpina did. Drilled a small hole in between the intake runners. If I can zoom out, there you go. So it's functional. It's not super pretty. Don't judge me. I'm getting a new fan shroud. Somehow I mis misplaced my fan shroud when I was doing the motor swap um, a couple years ago. And I'm going to be running standalone ECU. So the airflow meter will go bye bye. And then I'll have a more permanent solution for how I want to mount this pipe. But it works just fine. Um, probably going to run a catch can setup too, just because I want to. Not bad for a DIY. I always wanted to do this, so it's cool that I actually got around to committing to the task. Um, I really would like to put this on a dyno. I should have done it before and after, but it is what it is. I just kind of did this as I had time to. So it wasn't too difficult of a task. So if you, this is something you want to do on your M30, um, it's definitely doable. Runs good, responds very well.
sounds good, pulls good. It's running pretty good. Figured I'd send the video off with a pole. You already know. There's just so much more throttle response, like so much more torque. Power band is still pretty linear. Just a lot more torque now.